My name is Georgia Leap. I'm a professor of social welfare at UCLA and I do research on gang prevention and intervention and gangs and gang violence are, for lack of a better word, my passion. It is something I have been interested in and worked in off and on for 30 years, beginning as a baby social worker in South LA at the very beginning of my career and being involved with gang members, with their families, during what was called the decade of death in Los Angeles, when we had an all-time high of gang crime in the 1980s and 1990s. Deep down, if I were to tell you the truth, what caused me to write this book, which is not about how to solve the gang problem, or not even about people who know how to solve the gang problem, I wanted to write about the lives of the people that I knew, what they struggled with, what their lives were like, and how much what they were experiencing was exactly like what I was experiencing. And it seems unbelievable when I say that, but the truth for me is I'm just like them and they're just like me. The irony is when I returned to Los Angeles and became involved in what I'm calling my first love, uh, I truly fell in love with the person who is the single most meaningful person in my entire life, along with my daughter, uh, my husband Mark. And of course, as, as I often say, God is a joker because my husband, um, from the, the moment I fell in love with him, was part of the leadership of the Los Angeles Police Department. And so for someone engaged in working with men and women who were gang members, it was the single worst choice of a person to fall in love with I could ever imagine. And yet, I would say, due to the depth of our feeling for each other and both of our perseverance, we confronted a lot of obstacles in our lives as we were both defining our relationship and I was engaged in my passion and he was engaged in his. And so the book is about gang members in their lives and what it was like for me being married to somebody who was a deputy chief in the Los Angeles Police Department. At the same time, I was in the streets with homeboys and homegirls. And as preposterous as that sounds, that was our life.